in order to consider the soil structure interaction, you must have data from geotechnical engineers normally. So in Midas, we have a software called Midas GTS NX where 2D or 3D analysis of geotechnical problem can be performed. So from this version, either reaction or the displacement nodal result can be exported onto uh, Midas GTS NX once the analysis is performed from civil. So this nodal load can now be imported onto GTS NX where it is applied as either nodal load or specified displacement. So basically geotechnical analysis is then performed in Midas GTS NX and the nodal load result can be exported as a displacement reaction or force slash displacement form. So displacement result can be used to apply as specified displacement for settlement and reaction result can be interpreted to find out the vertical stiffness and force and displacement result can be used to create multilinear support to consider the soil structure interaction when you export the nodal result from Midas GTS NX back on Midas Civil. And then you will be able to do this uh, multiple times to, in terms of iteration process and then you will be able to consider the soil structure interaction very effectively using this. So finally, I will uh, briefly show you how to do this in Midas Civil and Midas GTS NX. So now let's quickly open Midas Civil. So here I have the completed model file for the precast composite girder bridge structure. So you can see that the pier cap is going here and the pier and then the pile cap and then pile structure going under the ground. And as you can see, I have created uh, these point spring supports in the power structure already using the power spring function in the boundary conditions in the under the integral bridge feature. So you first need to perform the analysis to export all those nodal results. So go to so first perform the analysis and then go to export nodal result for GTS NX so you can specify uh, you can select specific nodes or you can just select all for the order all the node, nodal result for the boundary conditions if you have construction stage you can spe specify a certain stages and select load cases or combinations and you can export the result type in terms of either reaction or displacement and result component in all these directions so I will just quickly select all for the reaction and click OK so if you do this uh, you can see that all those nodal result nodal reaction result is exported in terms of text format then you, you also have to export this uh, structure in terms of MXT file format in order to import this in Midas GTS NX. So now let's open Midas GTS NX. So you first have to import the MXT file uh, for the, the bridge structure. Click open and you can see that all those structure has been imported onto Midas GTS NX. Then you will have to create the ground structure. Let's quickly create the ground structure underneath the bridge structure. And click preview to check whether all those information has been inputted correctly. So if we click preview, you can see that this is right below the ground condition. So click OK. 
now you need to generate the mesh on this soil structure so before generating the soil structure you first need to create the nodal points and the, the edges along the power structure so this is because when you create the mesh when you generate the mesh you want to generate the mesh based on the based on these edges so the mesh doesn't intersect this pile structure so let's go to the point create geometry point uh, select 3d and let's select convert node and select all the okay let's go to points again and 3d 3d option and convert node this will convert all those nodal information into this and click OK so now we have created all these uh, nodal points here in terms of geometry and let's select polyline select 3D and click this all this nodal point so now we have created all this so you can see that we have created all this uh, line along the pile structure and let's translate this into all the other pile structure as well and select all the edges that you just created using this filter and then select two points vector and let's copy this twice along x direction click apply and let's select edge filter again and click all these uh, edges and select two points vector again and copy distance from here to here is 4.3 and let's copy this three times okay so now we have created all these uh, edges along this along the pile structure now let's generate the mesh along this so solid structure solid full solid structure so right click generate mesh here you can see that this option it's interior edges then you can see that 120 edges are selected and click OK and Let's click OK for generation of the mesh. And as you can see, the, gener uh, the mesh is generated uh, correctly. So we can use this uh, mesh for the, for the analysis or the geo geotechnical analysis. And let's quickly uh, create the boundary conditions here using the auto option. Select object. And click OK and now before performing the analysis I want to sort of import the nodal result from my uh, civil so go to file and import and import nodal result and let's select this and click open so let's look at this So you can see that this uh, nodal result is imported onto GTS NX. So this, all this reaction result is now imported onto my GTS NX. So now you need to create the analysis case. Click add. So let's create test analysis case with nonlinear static. Go to analysis control. 
and go to nonlinear option. Let's set the number of increments to five, and every increment in order to create the multilinear spring support. Click OK. Click OK. Now let's quickly perform the uh, nonlinear static analysis of this uh, structure with the ground condition. Okay, so the analysis is performing now. So once you finish uh, performing the analysis, you will then import, export all those nodal results at these uh, nodal points along the power structure, and then you will then import all those nodal results onto my desk server, and it will automatically convert all these results onto uh, power uh, point spring support for the power structures. So let's just wait for a few seconds to finish the analysis. Okay. So analysis analysis is nearly finished. Okay. Okay, so analysis now it seems, seems to be completed. Okay. Good. So once you uh, finish performing the analysis, as I mentioned, you can export this uh, nodal result in terms of um, MXC file format. So if I open export nodal result you can select all option or specific nodes and uh, here I will select load set and then if you go to output data you can see uh, which analysis set to be exported and also for the result type if I select the load set I can select force slash displacement and for the result component, I will just quickly select all. And let's click OK. And let's just uh, write this down as revision 1. And let's just write it as revision 2. So let's go back to Mother Civil. So uh, I will quickly import this. Uh, nodal result onto my disable and the program will automatically create multilinear multilinear point spring support along the power structure so in order to do that we first have to delete uh, the power spring support that we have already because this is not going to overwrite onto the uh, this is not going to update this point spring support in my disable it will just simply add new point spring support so let me go to uh, export uh, import and nodal result and let's select revision 2 and click open so as you can see all those uh, point spring support is imported onto my Sybil uh, through the geotechnical analysis from my GTS NX.